Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on this empties video. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, it's been a little while since I've done an empties video. Not too, too long, I guess. Um, today, this is just like a hodgepodge of things. I know everybody's talking about fall. Um, that's all everyone's talking about, whether it's a reviews or, or on Instagram. Everybody's super excited for fall. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't done too, too many empties videos this summer. Um, I was able to do a lot of them this spring, but this summer, this is actually, I think only my second empties video. So I want to get it up and out to you before we're like in full on fall season. Um, it's already upon us. I've already even done some fall videos. So I wanted to get this video up and out to you guys. A lot of these products are going to be vendor wax of course some oddball items some bath and body Works soap i think i have a couple body care items in there and then just a few candles you guys so not too too much but i did want to share my post burn and post product reviews with you guys that's what we're going to do today before i dive into today's video i do want to mention those of you who are like my bath and body works candle lovers yes i did do an order for the most recent candle sale Yes, I did get fall candles. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post which ones I got from my order. The order slip that they emailed me did say it would maybe take a little while, that they might be delayed. So I'm not expecting them too, too soon. But I have seen some of you on Instagram say you ordered on like a Friday and you got it a couple days later. So who knows? But if you're looking for candles and you're looking for like first sniff impressions, um, check out my Instagram. Uh, the info will be in the description of my video. Take a peek and see what candles I got because what I will be doing is a first sniff impression on all those candles that were on that order. So that'll be coming soon. I know some of you guys can't wait. Um, and a lot of you, this is your first fall trying some of the Bath & Body Works candles. So I'll definitely be doing a first sniff impression on those fragrances. If you guys are looking to jump to just vendor wax or just candles, check the description of my video. I will have it timestamped because sometimes my empties videos can be long. I'm long winded as it is. So if you're looking for a specific item, check the description of my video so you can um, just jump forward to whatever it is you're looking for in the video. You guys, I hope you're all doing well. And without further ado, let's just get into today's empties video. All right, and before we dive into all the empties, I have three honorable mentions. I pulled you guys up a little bit closer than normal. I have a candle going right here on the table. This is actually a Woodwick Trilogy. It's almost done. I probably have another burn or two left in it. So I wanted to include it in the empties video. So this one I purchased, gosh, maybe a few months ago or so um, from yankeecandle.com. It was from Yankee Candle's website. It's a Trilogy candle, so that means it's three different fragrances. Um, the top was vanilla bean, the middle was caramel, and currently right now the bottom is biscotti. Um, I love Woodwick candles. I love the crackling wick. I love this style. This is a medium hourglass. I want to say they retail for $20 if I'm not mistaken. So the vanilla bean, um, the first layer that burned on that, it was really pretty. It was a little bit light. Um, I typically have this in a smaller room. I usually have this one going in the bathroom just because it's a smaller size. The vanilla wasn't super, super strong, but when I got to that second layer of the caramel, that was much stronger, definitely much more noticeable. And then the bottom layer of this, the biscotti, this one's probably the strongest. It's almost like um, like a mocha-y, almost like a, a coffee type fragrance. Um, I would say of the three fragrances, the biscotti is probably my least favorite. I actually really like the vanilla and the caramel the most, um, but this one's pretty. Uh, I do enjoy coffee fragrances sometimes, but I just wasn't expecting this one to smell the way it does. Not bad, definitely strong, but if you're looking for like a good foody, yummy bakery type candle, definitely check this one out. I believe it was called the Trilogy Sweet Treats, if I'm not mistaken, and they do have it in different sizes. So that's the Woodwick right there. I have two other honorable mentions just because I'll be burning through these probably in the next week or so. You guys remember this if you saw my DW Home Haul. This is DW Home's Vanilla Coffee. I would 1000% buy this one again. If you guys like um, campsite coffee from Bath & Body Works or Paris Cafe or um, even Cafe Al Fresco uh, from Yankee Candle, definitely check this one out. The price was right on these. I think this was only like 12 bucks if I'm not mistaken, I have a full on review of these awesome, awesome candle. It did get sooty. Okay. It did get kind of sooty. This is a single wick. 
just from this one little single wick, I actually had it going out here in the open room. I didn't even have to put this in a smaller room, even though it's a smaller candle. Um, the throw on this was really, really good. Um, I'd say one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. Even in an open room, this was like a solid seven, uh, six and a half, seven in the immediate area. If you guys are looking for a strong coffee scent, they do have this in a two wick. I bet if you got the two wick, it would probably even be any, even stronger. Definitely a repurchase for me. And then one more honorable mention that I haven't quite finished burning, but I had to include it. This is a Yankee candle. This is actually from last fall season. Um, I think late fall, maybe. Maple Sugar, it was part of the Returning Favorites collection. Um, I busted this one out about a month and a half ago or so. This one is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, probably the strongest um, single wick classic jar Yankee candle I've ever burned. Not, no joke. The, the maple and just the strength of this candle. This is one of those ones where after you extinguish it, after you put it out, it lingers like in your clothing, um, in your towels, in your fabric. This is one of those candles. Um, I actually originally, when I had it going, I had it in a smaller room. I didn't realize how strong it was. This was when I originally purchased this and I was blown away. Um, obviously I put it away once we hit like winter, spring season and I busted it out this season and I forgot how strong it was, you guys. So this one I've been burning quite a bit. Um, I have it going obviously out in the open room. I usually have it in the hurricane paired with another candle. Super duper strong. It's um, It smells different than Yankee Candles New England Maple. They do have the New England. I'm not a big fan of the New England Maple. That one's a little too sappy for me. If you like just like a sugary sweet maple type fragrance, it almost has a bit of a caramel to it as well. I get a little bit of caramel. It's not just a full on maple, at least in my opinion. Um, definitely check this out. I don't know if it will be coming back this season. I don't know if this is one Yankee brings back from time to time. I'm sure it's available online, but that's the maple sugar. Really good, really, really strong, strong candle. All right, you guys, so let's get into, we have a few more candles and then we'll get into vendor wax. All right, and continuing with the candles, of course, if you guys saw my DW home haul, about a month ago or so, you guys will remember this one. This was DW Holmes French Vanilla. This was a two wick. Um, in my original review of this, I said the throw just was not there, that it was pretty light, um, that I wished it was stronger. The weird thing about this candle though, the more I burned it, um, the first and second burn, it just wasn't that detectable. You could waft it, you could kind of catch wafts of it. Um, kind of an average-ish candle. But the more I burned this, the more it was noticeable. Um, it was a really kind of decadent, rich vanilla. To me, um, I've kind of described this as almost like a fall type vanilla. I wouldn't use this in the spring or summer. This isn't just like that fresh, clean, you know, creamy type vanilla, straightforward vanilla. This is a very heavy, almost has a hint of a, a spiciness to it. I don't know if they have a little bit of allspice or something in this, but if you're looking for like a good pairing vanilla for this fall, I would definitely check this one out, the French Vanilla. Um, it's available on their website, and I'm sure you could find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything like that. I think this is a pretty common one that they carry year-round. The strength, though, grew the more I burned it. Um, I'd say in an open room, nearing the end of this, 1 to 10, um, 10, of course, being the strongest, this was probably like a solid 6.5 or 7, which is a lot stronger than what it was originally. So this one I would definitely repurchase, but this is a heavier vanilla, definitely more of a fall feel. So that's the French vanilla from DW Home. And we have a couple Bath & Body Works candles. Of course, no big shocker, I have a berry waffle cone. Nice clean burn. This one burned really, really nice, very even, clean. Um, I actually have berry waffle cone going in that holder right there too. I love this scent. You know, I think a lot of you by now probably are familiar with this fragrance. I wish this one was a little bit stronger though. Um, Berry Waffle Cone in the past, like the first version that ever came out, it was super strong, had that yummy kind of cone, you know, raspberry pie kind of vibe. And it was almost on par with like summer boardwalk, um, on par with leaves uh, strength wise. This version just doesn't seem to be as strong as I remember. It's noticeable, it's there, you know, it wasn't a bad candle by any means, but I do wish this was stronger. Um, but I enjoyed it, I liked it enough to obviously buy another one. 
So that's Berry Waffle Cone. I get that one. I get it every year that it comes out. And then here's another summer classic, of course, summer boardwalk. Nice clean burn. This was from me moving it too quickly. That wasn't the candle's fault. Um, nice clean burn on summer boardwalk. Near the end of this one, um, it, it looks like I could probably light it up and get another burn out of it. But as you guys know, with some of these um, near the end, they get kind of burnty, ickety kind of smelling. That's what happened with this one. I do try to make sure I don't burn them over three and a half, four hours because then they can get burnty and it kind of ruins the wax and the oils. This one, I was very cautious to not do that. So I didn't overburn this one and still near the end, it got kind of icky. So those of you, if you are burning summer boardwalk um, or any of those ones that seem to burn really, really fast, just be careful. Don't burn it over three and a half hours. Sometimes you can salvage it not smelling icky at the end, um, but unfortunately with this one, it did regardless. This one kind of does that from time to time, but who cares? We all love the scent. We're going to wind up buying it and burning it again. Anyways, this one would definitely be a repurchase for me again next season. Don't think I'll be buying any more summer boardwalks yet, though, for the rest of the summer, just because we're already into fall fragrances. But I will buy another one next season. Okay, so I have a handful of oddball items. Like I said, this is very random, but I chucked it in the empties box. Twilight Woods. You guys remember this one? I think I got this at the Christmas semi-annual sale, maybe. And I finally am just working through it now. Um, I've always loved this fragrance. I think they brought it back last semi-annual sale. The notes of Lush Berry, Mimosa, and Cypress Woods. I wish they would um, make this one into a candle. They may have had a candle of Twilight Woods when it was part of the full-on body care collection years ago. Really, really pretty scent. If you like like a warm, woodsy, semi-sweet scent and you ever see Twilight Woods, grab it. And I have two soaps here for you. I have Cherry Vanilla Float and then Be Magical. This one, there's still a little bit left in there. This one's amazing. This one was really, really, really good. Um, I'm not usually a huge cherry fan, but the vanilla and the cherry together, this one was really, really pretty. If you're still looking for summery type soaps and you're not like ready for fall at all and you want a good summer fruity soap, definitely check out the Cherry Vanilla uh, Float. This one was pretty strong too. I was surprised, I thought it would be lighter. And then the other one I have, the Be Magical, which was the Unicorn Milkshake. This one was notes of vanilla and uh, passion fruit. This one was okay. Um, it was a little too sweetsy, a little too summer fruity for my liking. Um, I don't do tropically passion fruity, pineapple type fruit too, too much. I'll do more berries and, and cherry and stuff like that, strawberry. Um, but this was too summery. So if you're looking for something summery though, and you like like passion fruit and like tropically fruits, check this one out. This one was definitely not what I was expecting when I bought it. Um, it's a little bit lighter though. The fragrance doesn't really linger on your hands. This one I probably would not wind up purchasing again if it came back next season. And you guys, that's it on oddball items. So let's move on to vendor wax. All right, you guys. And last but certainly not least, I know a lot of you have been waiting to hear my thoughts on some of the vendor wax items I've had over the spring and summer. That's what we're doing right now. Not enough to do an individual video, but we're getting there. All right, so the first one I have here, this is from none other than Sassy Girl Aroma, Tiffany's Birthday Jam. This one was Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookie, Marshmallow Birthdays, uh, Birthday Cake, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was one of the first um, like breakaway bars that I had gotten from Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, this one, off the bat, it wasn't super strong, so I did, I did have to let it cure. But this one, after maybe a few weeks, maybe two weeks, I, I waited and let it cured. It was pretty strong. Um, not room filling, not for like a whole giant room. You definitely had to use a few cubes, but the scent of this one was really good. It's just like a yummy bakery fruity type fragrance, not overly sweetsy fruity. It was a nice blend of bakery and fruit. I would rebuy this one again. Now this one was actually gifted to me by one of my subscribers. They gave me a big old box of all kinds of goodies. And this was one of my hands down favorite, favorite fragrances. I would rebuy this one again. This is pretty versatile. You could probably use this any time of the year. This is from Rainbow Melts and it was called Fresh Picked Linen. It was like um, in pink chunks 
and it says strawberry and game. So it was like a blend of strawberries with game detergent. Amazing amazingly strong too. Um, I still have yet to do a rainbow melts order on my own. I'm waiting for them to be open and available. Anything I have used from rainbow melts thus far has been very strong, if not medium to very strong. And this one was no exception. So that was the fresh picked linen. If you want a good laundry scent with a bit of fruit, a bit of smooth fruit, check that one out probably one of my favorites. I have another Rainbow Melts. This one's just yummy and good. This was Sugar Cookie Royale, and it was a cute, teeny tiny, like little, I think maybe mermaid tail or something mold. Um, just a yummy sugar cookie type fragrance. Also pretty strong. I actually had it in a smaller room, and it was filling the, uh, the smaller room. It was incredibly noticeable um, and strong right off the bat. I actually broke it into two pieces and got two uses out of it. I would repurchase this one again. I feel like the Sugar Cookie Royale would be a good layering scent even into the fall. If you wanted to have like a bit of vanilla going with whatever you were burning, that one would be great to do that with. So these were both, again, things sent to me from another subscriber. Very much so appreciate it. These were both Sassy Girl Aroma Berry Waffle Cone types. They were part of the Breakaway Bars. It smells like Bath and Body Works Berry Waffle Cone. Um, very, very, very similar. Um, the first batch that I was using, it wasn't super, super strong, so I did let it set a little bit longer um, and tried it in a smaller room, and it was noticeable. Not the strongest, um, but the fact that it smelled so close to Berry Waffle Cone, and I love that fragrance. You know, I didn't care if it wasn't crazy, crazy strong. Um, if you're a Berry Waffle Cone fan, definitely check this one out. That's from Sassy Girl. This one was amazing too. This was another one of my favorites and I wound up ordering from this vendor because I loved this scent so much. So this was from Britta's Creepy Treasures. It was a cute little pumpkin um, mold and the fragrance was called Casper's Friends and it was apple pie, funnel cake, and butter brickle. If you like just those yummy, fall, apple-y, just decadent fragrances, check out Casper's Friends. I don't know if it's available right now. Um, I do know I did wind up placing an order with British Creepy Treasures and all of like their bakery gourmand scents were amazing. Um, maybe there was a couple that just weren't super, super strong, but the majority of the ones I got were really, really good fragrance wise. They didn't smell artificial. They didn't smell fakey or anything like that. Um, there was another one I tried from Britta's Creepy Treasures. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I think it was called Monster Bash. That one's really good too. So if you haven't tried them, check them out. So far, I've, I've enjoyed most everything I've gotten from them. Britta's Creepy Treasure. This one was called Cauldron Concoction. It was Count Chocula Sugar Cookie Dough and Sweet Cream. It was, it smelled like just like a cocoa-y Count Chocula cereal. I was just so impressed with how spot on Count Chocula it smelled. So if you're a chocolate fan, chocolate lovers out there, and you want a good, authentic, like cocoa-y Count Chocula type cereal fragrance, Cauldron Concoction, that one was really good. Um, it, I had it in a smaller room, um, going with my smaller warmer. It was noticeable in a small room. It was from Front Porch Candle Company. This one was called Absolute Fabulous and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was in one of her little... Um, uh, grubby tarts, I believe is what she calls them. So it was like a little circular grubby tart. I cut it up into two pieces. Super strong. Her stuff for the most part is always very, very strong. Um, if you want something with a strong, strong fragrance, definitely check out Front Porch. I don't think there's anything I've melted from hers that wasn't at least a medium type fragrance. This one to me though, the scent was okay. I kind of almost got like a um, kind of reminded me of like a black forest cake almost like with a bit of like a I got like a bit of a coconut vibe in there um and like a cakey type fragrance I'm not a huge coconut fan so I don't know why I was picking up coconut in this but if you want a good bakery scent check out the absolutely fabulous cake and cupcakes at Tiffany's combo it was really good just had a little bit too much of a coconut vibe for me I don't know if it was supposed to be a coconut scent but I picked up coconut in it and then I can't wait to get my hands on more of this fragrance. This was also another one of my hands down favorite fragrances from one of the vendors that I have tried. This is from Super Tarts, and this was called Fake and Bake. 
and um, I believe the notes, I believe it's like um, like a heavy cream, sweet cream, and then there's a couple other notes in there. Um, to me, it smelled very similar to like a summer boardwalk almost, um, mixed with another kind of heavy bakery type fragrance. It didn't have like any fruit or anything like that in there. It was just like a heavy, good, yummy gourmand scent, and it was strong. This is a really, really good, good scent. Uh, when was it? Super Tarts did their most recent like launch order whenever they became available. Um, I think I got there too late because I did see that Fake Bake was an option that was available, but it was sold out. So next time Super Tarts does another order or opens up shop again, I will be buying Fake Bake again. It was just that good. This was another awesome one. This was a Rainbow Melts order, Zucchini Jam. This was actually one of the first um, Rainbow Melts ones that I had tried from my box that was gifted to me. It was strawberry jam filled donuts and creamy zucchini bread. Just, I mean, you know, it was, it was, it was a good one. Um, I didn't get super heavy, like spicy zucchini bread. It was just like a yummy bakery type fragrance. I can't wait to try Rainbow Melts again. I feel like they have a nice variety of fragrances. This is Destination Wax. I have a few from her. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds beautiful beautiful fragrance this is like a gorgeous bedroom scent um bathroom scent it's actually marshmallow perfume with marshmallow meringue white magnolia and sandalwood and vanilla it smells like a bath and body works body care item i was under the impression it was going to be a bakery scent when i ordered it it's not it's a really pretty body care fragrance so if you're looking for like a good bedroom scent bathroom scent definitely check this one out the boardwalk marshmallow clouds I have another Destination Wax one. This is Strawberry Crumble. This one, I enjoyed the scent, but it could have been a little bit stronger. It was actually pretty light. Um, going back to this one, though, I didn't mention the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Very strong. This one was very strong. Strawberry Crumble, though, however, this one, it just wasn't. Um, I did try to let it cure probably for a couple weeks after I got it, um, chunked it up. It just is gonna perform better in a smaller room. If you're a fan of like strawberry pound cake or any of those yummy strawberry bakery type scents from Bath and Body Works, definitely check this one out, but you are gonna have to let it cure because it just was kind of light. And then this one, this was also a gift, um, one from my gift box. This is London Calling from Destination Wax. If you like Bath and Body Works, like that London tea, tea leaf I believe is what it's called, this is called Black Tea Lemon and Sugar, but if you like Bath & Body Works London Tea Leaf, um, I think it comes out as a couple other names throughout the years, check this one out. It's very, very similar to the Bath & Body Works version, and it's, it's strong. This one is definitely very noticeable. If you're a tea fan out there, check out London Calling. And then I have one from, this is actually from the Smell Good Shop. This was another one that was gifted to me, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Dupe. The strength on this itty bitty little bit of wax. I actually wound up cutting this one in half and I got two uses out of it. It was very impressive. Um, this is another vendor I still have to order from myself. The Smell Good Shop. That Smell Good Shop is the vendor. Um, I think I did look and I think they're pretty reasonably priced. The strength on this one, even in a smaller, or I'm sorry, in an open room, I was very impressed with it. And it smells just like Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Very, very similar. And that is it on the vendor wax, you guys. But I do have some wall plugs and wallflowers to show you guys. So I have Vanilla Bean Wallflower. Those of you who have watched any of my empties for a while, you know I love the Vanilla Bean, especially in a wallflower form. Um, it's not the strongest. You're gonna have to put it in a smaller room, but I think it's a great, great layering scent. This one's good for a smaller area. I do also have one, two, and three summer boardwalks. So I've been using these probably the past several weeks or so. I was actually kind of disappointed. Um, in the past summer boardwalk, wallflowers typically were very noticeable. This one, this year's version, for whatever reason, plugged them in. They were noticeable for maybe a week or so. Um, and then as I'm coming and going out of the house, I'm just not noticing them anymore. Um, I had them plugged in for probably two and a half, three weeks, and I've been gone. So I've been out of state for the past week. And when I walked back in the house, 
you would think like my nose obviously wasn't used to any of the smells in the house. You would think I would have been able to notice these. I did not smell summer boardwalk when I walked in. So this year's version seems to be a little bit weaker than normal, um, which is a bummer because I enjoy the scent. And then I have one Yankee refill here. This is vanilla cupcake. Um, this one's really good, you guys. It almost has like a vanilla E, and I get a bit of a caramel out of it as well. Um, this one, the longevity out of this one little warmer, um, I have it in my main entryway. This seems to last longer than the Bath and Body Works ones for whatever reason. And the scent, while it's not super strong, it's continuous, so it kind of stays the same throughout. This is another really good layering scent. I will probably wind up just using the vanilla cupcake in my Yankee warmer throughout the fall season because I can blend it with most anything. And you guys, that, that is it. That is it for our summer empties. If you guys have used any of these fragrances, whether it's the candles or the wax melts or the soaps, leave it in the comments below. Let me know which ones are your favorites or let me know which ones you guys are using right now. Before I sign off, I do also want to mention to you guys, I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, vendor wax. I've been posting a lot of vendor wax on there. Um, and those Bath and Body Works candles, those will be coming. So I'll be posting that on there as well when I do my reviews. So if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later.